Hey, it's Yudi, and I'm continuing the ideas that I've uh, started in the previous video about, uh, you know, using scales and getting ideas. So um, let's continue now and see something that is specific to Cubase. So uh, apologies if, uh, if this is uh, not your uh, DAW. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show some stuff in Cubase, and um, this again relates to scales and how to use them or how to um, you know get uh, some uh, some basic understanding of uh, of music theory and use that to your advantage. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, dive in. So in uh, in the previous uh, video, I was uh, kind of uh, stuck into the C minor scale and there are a couple of uh, other scales I mean there, there is the harmonic and there's the natural and there's the melodic uh, minor scales and they are uh, very similar but different uh, I'm I'm using the natural minor and this is how it looks like so uh, uh, let me just uh, get everything in place so this is the scale. It's uh, pretty. Um, I mean, it's pretty easy to to search for it. You, just, you know, just Google C minor scale notes, and that's what we have. So, I, I've been asked in um, in in my previous video if uh, Cubase does have a kind of snap into scale um, function, and I'm not absolutely sure. So I need to, to check it, but what we do have is chord tracks and chord pads and uh, a lot of tools for you to, uh, to use when, uh, when you need some, um, some help, some assistance. So let me show you what I've done here and, uh, and then we'll continue. So th this, is, uh, this is the scale. and. Uh, Look what happens in uh, in Cubase again. If I um, if I just grab this C note and move it to a new position, so it, it's C sharp, but it's turn it turning red. Why is it turning red? Because C sharp is not part of the scale, and I can continue and explore that and see, you know, uh, if uh, if the note is in the scale or not so that that's the quick answer now let's see how uh, how this is done and a few other things first of all in cubase and i'll, I'll do this from uh, from uh, scratch i can go and add track get uh, a chord track and that chord track is is then um, you know i can use it uh, to to create some chord patterns some chord progressions that then will affect um, the rest of my uh, composition but i'm not going to show that right now so uh, um, what i am trying to show is how to basically use this um, to you know to get some some help so I'm, I'm gonna link this track to the piano tra to this track so I have both of these track I'll just get all these guys out of the way and now um, I need to set the scale that this chord track is uh, is set to so I'm gonna grab the the draw click here sorry yeah, I need to open up the, the scale, okay, show scale. And um, the next, uh, next thing that I need to do is remove the adaptive voicing and automatic scales. I don't need those. Clicking here on that uh, gray area will give me a C minor. Now, uh, sorry, C major. Double clicking on this we hear the, the, the scale and this is uh, all the white keys but why, what I can do is click here I'll get all bunch of uh, scales and I'll select the Aeolian which is the natural minor there you go so now the, we have the chord uh, track set to the correct scale and it is linked to my piano here and now this is uh, you know behaving so th this is uh, the the first 
thing. Uh, the second thing that I, I can show you is that uh, if we go to uh, to chord pads, we we can see those uh, those pads, the the chords, and you can see that the the, the um, these are the chords of the C um, C minor scale. I can click here. And see that, that these are triads minor natural scale. Uh, you, you can just load chord pads from preset, and you'll see that you have a whole list of uh, of you know, you know of pad um, presets ready for you. And, you know many scales and uh, and other uh, chord progressions. So this is what I chose, and now I want to show you something um, else. So if I open just play this uh, this chord clicking in here going back i can see green um, green coloring so what is that so before we 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 even start messing around with this we need to make sure that the coloring the event colors is set to chord track Okay, we can color the, the events here by velocity, pitch, channel, whatever, but we want to link that to our chord track. And that's why we see those colors. So the, the light uh, blue is in scale. The green is in our, uh, in our chord. Okay, so uh, now if I, I'll just... Uh, record some some kind of a chord or uh, or play a chord then it will be set in accordance so uh, let's just play the D go back and you'll see that the green uh, the green notes the the green parts are <coughs> are part of that chord specifically so I can again play yeah so now I'm back to, I'm not playing any chords, so it's back to blue. So um, one other thing to, to know, so let's again play this chord here, double clicking, and you'll see that I can have um, these chords, and yeah, so the, the red designates that this, uh, this is not part of the scale. And again, F is part of the scale, but it's not part of the chord, of the specific chord. I can go on and on and I'll see that G is part of the chord. So let's, uh, let's explore more. So if I'll just grab this and drop it here, let's have a look. So this is the the chord. We have the bass. We, well, I'm not again. I'm not teaching you how to use the chord pads, but I, I can remove the bass here, and I have um, those notes here, and I can transpose this, whatever. Anyway, um, this is just uh, the, just to arrange it easier and we see that those uh, um, notes are all in the chord so we might have uh, some other um, notes in a chord so if you if you create like a seventh chord or whatever you know more notes in the chords you might have notes that are in the chord but are not in the scale that could be right so we can add notes that don't belong to the scale but are Part of the chord, so uh, they will be in uh, in yellow, I believe. So just watch that. Um, but that's it. So that's uh, again, that's uh, that's just an idea here how to to get uh, some um, you know some help, some guidance from Cubase. And if you want to mess around and uh, and improvise, and you want to make sure that you are in the scale, then that's a kind of a way to do it. Um, top of that, if you're just you know if with just recording stuff, let's just record something. So I, I can uh, turn on everything here and. So this is uh, something else that we can use. We can use the, um, the the chord pads. Put that here, and we can have 
we can have those uh, you know just to to play along so what i can do is i can play my song here Right, and I can record that and I'll have the, the chords and then I can then I can mess around with that. So that's uh, that's the idea. And let's let's do that. Right, and we can then quantize and move things around because I wasn't paying attention and we can set everything in place. Very nice and I'm using the, the notes uh, or the keys starting at C1 and that will give me all the, the chord pads. But if I'll close this then I can just play on top. Right, and I can go on and on. So if I if I'll do something like this, duplicate. Let's uh, just uh, get rid of this, and I'll just improvise on top. Right, so I. I can go in and I see that I, I've played an F sharp, which is not in the scale. So there you go. That's uh, that's the idea. That's the assisted um, composing, I would say, and uh, that's that's the point of uh, of having a, a chord track, um, you know, connected to your uh, instrument here and helping you out stay in scale and, and this is not the only use of course this is uh, not even starting to to scratch the surface of using chord tracks um, so uh, you, you know it is it is very very uh, useful it is very very uh, powerful and maybe I'll do more of these uh, videos in the future. But for now, that's uh, that's the idea. So if you didn't see my previous uh, video, go check my channel and then come back here. But uh, that's it for now. And that's it. So thank you so much. If you like this video, if you like other videos that I do, if you like the channel, please subscribe. And uh, that's it for now. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.